Hello, I'm Ms. Relaine Mendoza. We are here to show to you some tutorials about what is operating system, what is BIOS or the basic input-output system, and file system. Later on, we'll show to you how to configure a BIOS and how to install an operating system. Mr. Ocariza will discuss to you what is operating system and BIOS. Ms. Cristoria will discuss to you what is file system. Mr. Tropo will show to you how to configure a BIOS and I will show to you how to install an operating system. Now I am going to explain about the BIOS. By the way, I am Ernesto Parisa. BIOS is an acronym for Basic Input Output System. It is a program that stores configuration details about your computer hardware and enables your computer to boot up. Every time your computer is switched on, the BIOS loads configuration data into main memory, performs a routine diagnostic test on your hardware, then loads the operating system. BIOS software is stored in a non-volatile ROM chip built into the system on the motherboard. The BIOS software is specifically designed to work with a particular type of a system in question, including having a knowledge of working of various devices that make up the complementary chipset of the system. In the modern computer system, the BIOS chip contents can be rewritten, allowing BIOS software to be upgraded. A BIOS chip will also have a user interface. Typically, this is a menu system accessed by pressing a certain key, key on the keyboard when the PC starts. In the BIOS UI, a user can configure hardware, set the system clock, enable or disable system components, select which devices are eligible to be a potential boot device, set various password prompts such as a password for securing access to the BIOS UI function itself, and preventing malicious users for, from booting the system from unauthorized peripheral devices. The BIOS provides a small library of basic input output functions used to operate and control the peripheral, peripherals such as the keyboard, text display, functions, and so forth. And these software library functions are callable by external software. In the IBM PC and AP, certain peripheral cards such as hard drive controllers and video display adapters carry their own BIOS extension ROM, which provided additional functionality. Operating systems and executive software designed to superset this basic firmware functionality will provide replacement software interfaces to the application. BIOS instructs the computer on how to perform a number of basic functions such as booting and keyboard control. BIOS is also used to identify and configure the hardware in a computer such as the hard drive, floppy drive, optical drive, CPU, memory, and etc. Every computer has BIOS. There are many types, but the most common type of BIOS come from AMI, AWARD, and Phoenix. Motherboard manufacturers buy or less the BIOS source code from this company. The BIOS tells the operating system in the computer how to boot up, where to load everything, and what to load, what memory and CPU. A good comparison to further understand the functionality of the BIOS would be to say that the BIOS is the computer equivalent of a human hypothalamus. The hypothalamus regulates body temperature, blood pressure, heartbeat, metabolism of fat, and carbohydrates, and the sugar level in the blood. It is the subconscious nervous system, sometimes it's called the brain of the brain. In a PC, we all know that the CPU or central processing unit is the brain, while the bias is the CPU's brain. Without a hypothalamus, you will die, or without a bias, your PC is a paper wave. The bias is a program of, on an EEPROM we refer to 
to their advice to. Other names you may hear are Perfumer Hub, Samos, ROM Chip, IC, Flashroom, and I am sure that there are a few more. If you want a common term for all these items when referring to the motherboard, bias chip is the most common term used. Here are all the terms mentioned about with a description of what they actually mean. CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor, a conductor technology that uses less power and generates less heat. Firmware, a category of memory chips that hold their content without electrical power. EEPROF, electrically erasable programmable ROM, a type of programmable read-only memory that can erase or update using electrical signals, a process often performed remotely. ROM, a read-only memory, data stored in a computer memory that can access and read by the user but not modified. Flash memory, a non-volatile storage chip that enables easy electrical erasability and reprogramming often used to mostly update routers and models with new version of software. IT, or integrated circuit, an assembly of electronic circuits contained in a single piece of semiconductor material. That's all, thank you.